Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning, 10 minutes at 10 a.m., and uh, we're going to try a little devotional uh, today uh, to just draw our minds, our, our attention toward things that are spiritual, to encourage our heart to be more holy, to live more Christ-like in the world, and to get God's perspective on what's going on today in our world. <clears throat> you know, this morning I brought with me a... a this is a 1,000-piece puzzle. I had a few puzzles in my office uh, earlier this week. And uh, what's, in what's important about this puzzle is that I don't have the picture of what to make of this puzzle. So when I look at a piece like this, uh, I'm concerned because I have no idea where it fits in the big picture. Um, you ever feel like that in life? You have today, you're given a piece of today's puzzle and you just have no idea how it fits in God's big picture for your life. And so we live our entire lives trying to put the pieces together. And, and then sometimes what happens is like with a puzzle like this, there's a little notice in here. I want to this is so funny. Uh, it says, if you find a missing piece, please discard this puzzle. <laughs> Have you ever found that uh, as you look back at life and you try to sort things out, oh, what was that all about back then? And you realize there's a missing piece. Well, whoever made this bag said, discard the puzzle. So there's another puzzle that... Uh, sometimes I use with some of our classes and it's a word search puzzle and it has all these letters uh, scrambled around but as you look closer and closer at, at these letters they actually in certain directions you can sew together the words the letters to make words and the words in this particular puzzle are the words to different books of the Bible and so it takes a long time of sewing together or looking in sequence of each letter and seeing how it all fits together to make a word. That's another struggle, isn't it? We look at one day, one week, even one year of our life, and we try to figure out how does this little letter connect with the next letter to connect with the next letter so that our life actually speaks a good word. And this, the tragedy in life is that sometimes our lives don't speak a good word. They speak a sad word or they speak a bad word. In all these situations, the good news of the gospel is that the God who created you has the big picture. He knows how it all fits together. And sometime, someday, whether it's here or there, it will all be made clear to us. But for now, it's just kind of puzzling. And sometimes it takes us a great deal of time and distance to understand how sometimes maybe a sad event or a sad word or a bad trauma event, over time, somehow we catch new meaning from it and it gives us hope. Now, what does that have to do with the Bible? Well, let me tell you. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he has a wonderful chapter in his first letter to the Corinthians where he says in 1 Corinthians 13, love never fails, but while they are there are prophecies, they will cease, and where there are tongues, they'll be stilled. Where there's knowledge, it'll pass away, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, when what is in part will disappear. So when I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned as a child, and when I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. Now here's the key verse, verse 12. 
For now we see only in a reflection as in a mirror. And that word reflection in the original language is an enigma, which has the idea of a, a puzzling reflection. For now we only see in a puzzling reflection as in a distorted mirror, perhaps. But then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, and then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And so the last verse of this chapter is, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So we only see our lives in parts or in pieces or in letters. And sometimes it just seems so scrambled. But trust me, or rather trust God, to let you know that at some point, all these pieces will fit together. And sometimes as we look at things, we see them kind of as a, from a childlike perspective. We wonder, why is this happening? What's going on? And we are very impatient to see an answer. But as we grow up and grow through the difficulties and painful experiences in life, we get wisdom, we get understanding, we get a perspective. And we realize that what God has done or what God what happened to me in my past, God was with me, and God made meaning out of all of that. <clears throat> There's a great song that was sang last week at our, at our church. Something beautiful, something good. All my confusion, he understood. All I had to offer him was emptiness and strife, but he made something beautiful out of my life. So whatever you're going through today, uh, I want you to know that each piece has significant meaning in your life. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, all these things fit together in a puzzle. Every piece of your life has significance before God. As, he, as people asked Jesus, they said, you know, hey Jesus, do you even care what's going on in my life? And, and Jesus told people, he says, look, even the sparrows, I know what they need each day. The grass, the number of hairs on your head, all these things that are going on, these little bitty things that you're not mindful of, the Lord is mindful of. God is watching over your life today. And he's putting the pieces together in a beautiful puzzle that makes a beautiful picture, a picture of how his presence is with you through the good and the difficult times in life. So soon, whether it's this week, maybe it's next year, maybe it's in 10 years, or maybe it's when we die and we see the Lord face to face. When that happens, at some point, God is going to give us the full perspective. And that will lead us to a place where we say, oh, Lord, you were with me through this whole spot. You were with me in the good and the bad times in life. And whether I acknowledge it or not, you were there. These, th these three things remain faith, hope, and love. God has faith in you. God loves you. God's hope for you is that you are his child. And that whatever troubles come your way, just remember, trouble happens to everyone. It's, it's, it's not prejudice. It's not, uh, it's not a respecter of persons. It doesn't happen just to good people or bad people. Trouble is... Uh, Trouble happens to everybody. Difficulties happen to everybody. So let's make the most of it with faith, hope, and love. Now, to close off tonight, uh, today, I brought, I've been, I've been snacking. And so I've been snacking on pretzels. And you know that a pretzel uh, is always shaped like this. And it comes from a German word, bretzel, which comes from the Latin word bracella, which means arms and the actually the pretzel itself is the shape of someone who has crossed arms and prays. Let me pray with you with a pretzel prayer. Almighty God, today when our life is turned inside out and all around in different knots and we only understand in peace or in part, Lord God, would you give us the hope and would you give us the faith and would you give us the love to endure through these things to understand that in all our circumstances, you are causing us to be godly. You are causing us to be Christ-like. 
You are giving us an opportunity to give glory to you in all of life's circumstances. May you be glorified in our lives today with whatever happens. Amen. Thanks for watching today.